guys, I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've filmed a video when I'm sitting on the floor of my bedroom. I'm just sitting in front of my bed. And I'm sorry at the lighting, like you see those little bars on me. I really can't control it, but I need to get some videos up. And I really wanted to film a Get Ready With Me today. I tried to film one last weekend, but I used my ring light and the lighting was just really pink and just did not look very good. So I figured I would just do a very chill video where I'm sitting on the floor again, getting ready with you guys, and I'm excited. In this video, I actually want to talk about some of the products more because I am showing some newer products to you guys, but I've been using them for a while. And the eyeshadow I'm actually putting on my lid. I've swatched a couple times, but I haven't actually worn it yet, so I'm pretty excited about that. So first for my eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with the shade Glass Bowl from ColourPop. So beautiful. It's a beautiful duochrome, and it seems more green when I swatch it, but we'll see how it applies on the eyes. And I just want to do more of like a duochrome green kind of look, and this eyeshadow is really powdery, like I don't know if you can see that on my palette, but it's really powdery. So pretty though, so I'm hoping it applies beautifully to the eyes as well. I'm first going to apply it just dry, and then I'm going to try to wet it with some rose water. I don't have Fix Plus because MAC's not cruelty free, but I also never tried it before. So I'm just going to see how this goes on the lid. Oh, that's pretty. That's gorgeous. I think I still will try to wet it a little bit just to get the full pigment, but that is gorgeous. I just went ahead and applied it on the other eye off camera. This is going to be Bel Air from ColourPop. I'm going to apply it in my crease with my e.l.f. brush that I got in my e.l.f. and ColourPop haul. This ColourPop eyeshadow wasn't one I got in that specific haul, but I've had it for a little while. I just thought I'd use some ColourPop shadows today. So this video is also going to be some updates. I know a lot of you guys wanted to know how my job is going and wanted to see updates from my last Get Ready With Me, like letting you guys know how it is. And I do like it a lot so far. I really enjoy my team. I work in third-party logistics. So I work on scheduling truckloads and interacting with customers. I don't go to like meetings or anything. I actually get to wear like jeans to work, which is so nice. I love that. I honestly wear jeans like three days out of the week. I do wear dress pants, I'd say like two to three times, just depending on my mood. My dress pants are like super, super comfortable. I got a pair from Primark and then I have a pair from Kohl's. I'm going to pull out the Yes Please palette for my crease colors and outer corner shades. So I think I'm going to go into this nice warm shade right here. I'll put it on the screen. It's this one right here. Actually, I think this one is Note to Self. I'm just going to use that same e.l.f. brush. And I did buy the I Think I Love You palette as well. But I'm actually going to keep it in a giveaway because I did say I wanted to keep it. But I figured I already have like three new eyeshadow palettes from this year. And I really don't need another one as beautiful as it is. So that was the one I was originally going to put in the giveaway anyways. And it's just going to stay in my giveaway pile. So hopefully I'll have a giveaway. I think I might do one at 4,000 subscribers. And I'm at like 3724 right now. Which I'm so happy about. My growth was pretty slow this past year, and I don't know if it was just because of me or because of YouTube. Not really sure, but I'm thankful to be growing a little bit more, and it's all thanks to you guys. I'm going to go in with this deep brown shade, and this is French Kiss. I think it's a cute little name. And this brown color is gorgeous. I'm just going to apply that to my outer corner. This is just like an e.l.f. dollar brush. I haven't hauled it yet, but I will soon. It honestly doesn't blend the product out very nicely. As you can see, there's a little bit of a, like a line there. But it's good for placement. I do want to get a better like pencil brush. So if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them down below. I'm just going to apply it to my other side as well. I really hope this lighting's okay. I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the H&M Fine China. I recently hit pan on it. This is my favorite brow bone highlight because it's just a perfect matte cream shade for my skin tone and I think it really highlights the brow bone well and I'm just gonna go over a little bit and I'm gonna blend this out as well because I always blend out my crease after I apply my brow bone highlight. So I ended up moving to my bed because the lighting was just starting to get a little bit weird with the bars from the blinds on my face so I just wanted to show you guys a swatch of glass bowl and just a close-up of it so here's what the eyeshadow looks like it's a beautiful duochrome, as I said before, and I just wanted to give you a close-up swatch because it might be hard to tell the duochrome on my eyes because my camera's not the most HD. So here's what it looks like on my finger. And then swatched, it is a little bit sheer, but it's still really pretty. So there's what a swatch of it looks like. 
very very pretty and I think this is like a wearable duochrome honestly I'm gonna wear this to work one of these days because I don't think it looks like too much on my eyes but anyway I'm gonna go off camera do my brows lashes well mascara and winged liner off camera because it's a little bit easier for me and I can save some time all right I'm back I threw my hair up and I applied my brow powder mascara and winged liner and let me tell you that winged liner was such a struggle I really need a new liquid liner mine is pretty much dying so hopefully I can go get one of those today but here's what the eyes look like so far just the top eyeshadow I still have to do my lower lash line and inner corner so I think that's pretty good so far. Now we're going to move on to the face. So there's this new line at Walmart called Found, and I think it's like Found Beauty. I picked up this smoothing face primer, and it says 90% natural with bilberry and peach fruit extracts. And it's an okay primer. I'm going to apply it to my face. And I'm interested in trying more of their products. I'm not entirely sure if they're cruelty-free. I just saw that they're more of like a natural brand, but eh, hopefully they are because I did buy this. And this is more of like a gel consistency it's not silicone even though it kind of looks like it would be it's a, kind of like a gel lotion which I am a fan of however I don't think this really does anything for my skin can you guys let me know a good cruelty free primer because I've been having issues with my current foundation which I'm going to show you in a minute and it just hasn't been lasting on me but I do have a long work day so that's probably why and that foundation I'm going to use today is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer I just used up my e.l.f. Flawless finished foundation. I wanted to repurchase that, but they didn't have it in the drugstore that I was at, so I picked up the Milani one. And I did think they had a shade that matches me, but this one actually matches me fairly well. This is in the shade 00B Light. So what's going on with you guys? Um, I have been enjoying having a job, been very tired, but it's been nice getting consistent paychecks. I actually got a new piercing recently. Got my helix done. I'm looking forward to getting the triple helix. I need two more up there. But I love this piercing. It is so cute. And I think it's been healing really well, which is awesome. I think I'm actually going to mix some of a liquid illuminator from e.l.f. into it because it's been a little bit too matte for me recently. I think I just need a good moisturizer. I bought an e.l.f. one and I'm not really sure how I'm liking it. I moisturized my face twice already today and I still really don't feel it on my skin. And I'm one of those people who really likes to feel their moisturizer on their skin because I don't have dry skin, but I do have normal to dry skin. I think I actually need to put more foundation on this cheek. But it's a really pretty foundation when it first goes on, but when I look at it throughout the day, it just does not look that great on me. It looks really nice and the coverage is great, but it just really breaks down on my chin and around my nose area. Granted, I have been sick the past month, which is also why I haven't been posting that many videos. I've been really sick or I've been not home on the weekends, which is also a part of it because I try to film on the weekends. I film once in a while during the week if I haven't filmed, but I just haven't been feeling like it because I've been so tired. Life of an adult, man. It's crazy. So I'm just blending this in with a brush. I honestly prefer foundation with, with a brush because I feel like it gives me the most coverage. I do want to try out the Beauty Blender. I never thought I would say that, but since I actually have the funds now, I might try it out. And if I get like a Sephora gift card for Christmas, I might try it then. Also, I want to try out new foundations because it's been kind of hard finding a cruelty-free foundation. I really enjoy that e.l.f. one, but it is too dark for me unless I'm like super tan in the summer. So I was mixing that one with my Bare Minerals. So the foundation is done. Now I'm going to move on to concealer. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, which I love. I've been trying to finish up my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC15, and that's in a project. I've been working on that one a little bit more, but I do love this one when I use it. So I'm just going to apply this to my under eyes and some other places that I need concealing and adding a little bit more to my cheeks. I think this is the same color as the foundation. Oh well if it's not. I really enjoy the consistency of this concealer. I just think it looks like just really nice and it blends really nicely. I know some people said it's really drying on them but like I don't see that at all and I have normal to dry skin. It does oxidize slightly at least it looks like right now. Could be the lighting. And then I'm sorry for the lighting that's been all over the place for this video. I need a filming room or like a beauty room. I don't have one. I just have my bedroom in my house and it's my parents' house. Hopefully in Mookvale in the next couple years. We will see. I'll try to have a better filming setup in a couple years, but that's a while from now. So I think that's good for coverage. I might add a little bit more on this cheek, but I think it looks pretty good so far. I'm going to set my face with the Too Faced Born This Way powder. And you guys, this powder is awesome. I know a ton of people have been raving about the Sweet Peach one. I'm not exactly sure of the actual name of it. 
But this one's really good as well. This one came out before the Sweet Peach, obviously, because the Born This Way collection came out way before. And I really enjoy it. I think it doesn't mattify my skin too much. It just gives it a nice satin finish. And I just put it into the cap. And ever since trying the Laura Mercier powder, I've been loving loose setting powder. I don't think I could ever go back to just like a flat pressed powder. I'm just setting my face. I'm just setting my under eyes with that same powder. Honestly, I think that concealer is a little bit darker than that foundation, but it's fine. I don't really care that much. But something really exciting, I am going away with Matt, my boyfriend, to Niagara Falls for our five-year anniversary. I cannot believe it's been five years. Five years of dating, not five years of marriage. This is an elf blush. I think it's one of the like $2 ones in the shade Blushing. Go figure. And this one does have glitter in it. So if you guys don't like glitter, I would not recommend this blush. I don't really care because I'm a glitter fiend. But anyway, for that Niagara Falls trip, I'm really excited. I forget if we're staying on the Canada side or the New York side. I'm hoping the Canada side because I heard it's better. But I'm going to go to the Canada side. If not, I've never actually been to Canada. I've been to Mexico and the Dominican Republic. Those are the countries that I've been to outside of the U.S. And I'm so thankful that I had the opportunities to go with my family and then Matt's family to go to the Dominican Republic. My family was Mexico. And I'm just excited to travel. I love visiting different places. I really want to go to a bunch of different countries. Need the funds to do that. Definitely want to save a lot, but hopefully go to some more countries in the future. Another e.l.f. product I'm going to use is this e.l.f. Shimmer Highlighting Powder, and this is in the shade Pearl Glow. It looks a little bit similar to Becca's Pearl Highlighter, and I'm just going to swatch it for you. Definitely does not feel as soft as the Becca Highlighters, but it's still really pretty. Here's what a swatch of it looks like. It is light, so it's good for probably pale to light skin tones. I would not recommend this for deeper skin tones, but I think they do have a color called Topaz or something. It looks a little bit darker than Becca's Opal. Which is, oh, it's pretty. This highlighter is gorgeous. So the face is done, now to move on to the lower lash line, I'm going to use the shade Lil Boat from Colourpop, it's just a warm matte brown shade. So guys, I've been wanting to do a project pan questionnaire or like a Q&A for you guys for a while now. I've been planning on doing a project pan tips video, but some of mine are fairly repetitive from my other project pan tips videos. So let me know your questions down below if you want to know like my panning tips. I do have like one specific tip I use for powder products that I really want to share with you guys, but if you guys really want to see a Project Pan questionnaire, please leave me questions down below. But I try to put this glass bowl shade on my lower lash line. It's so messy. I just wish it wasn't such a messy shadow. Like I press my brush into it and look at all that powder. And that's not even the most of it. Like my Tyra Z palette is covered in powder from this shadow. So I think it's one I definitely need to wet when I use it, unfortunately. But honestly, wetting it's really not a big deal at all. I'm just going to apply this to my lower lash line, see if anything happens. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm just going to apply that until, like, I'd say the center. And leave some room for the inner corner. For my inner corner, I'm going to try the shade Butter Cake from Colourpop and that Yes Please palette. And this gold is stunning. That's pretty much the main reason why I bought this palette. Although I love the other shades as well, Butter Cake is definitely one I was really looking into. And I think I want to wet this shade as well just to make my inner corner pop in. Use some of my rose water. And this is the e.l.f. dollar like precision brush that I always use. So let's see how this looks in my inner corner. Oh, that's a little too gold for me. I knew the shade was gold, I've used it before, but I think I want something a little bit more lighter and not as gold. But it's still really pretty. You guys see that there? I'm going to try my e.l.f. highlighter, the one I used on my face, on my inner corner. And I think this will definitely lighten it up a little bit and tone down the gold. Oh yeah, um, I'm about that. That's pretty. I'm actually going to pop a little bit of glitter on my inner corner. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner and Midnight Cowboy. I love this stuff. This is actually in my 12 Pans of Christmas collab, so definitely check that out. I will link it up in the cards right here. I'm just going to use my little elf mirror to guide me through the way. And I'm only going to about, I would say, there. Just 
So the eyes are done. I love the way they look. I just applied some lower lash mascara and it was the Wet n Wild Mega Length. I haven't been liking it, but the past two days, I feel like it makes my lashes, like my bottom lashes look bomb. So I love the eyes. I think they turned out really well. So the final part is the lips and I'm also going to apply some setting spray slash finishing spray, aka my rose water. So for the lip liner today, I'm going to use ColourPop's Brink and this is a warm tone nude. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. And it is fairly dark. I kind of wish I got a lighter one. I might pick up another lighter one once I finish this one up. But I like it so far. It's a really pretty lip liner and I love the ColourPop formula. So I'm just going to line my lips. Not the cleanest lip liner job because I have small lips. I don't have a lot to work with. And I did fill them in as well. So now I'm going to apply my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in Rebel Rose. So this is a more cool toned version, but it looks really nice together. So this is the final look. I decided to turn my ring light on just to have you guys see the look a little bit better. And I'm kind of pissed at myself now because now the lighting's fine for my ring light and it's not super pink. And I feel like my other lighting was kind of pink, but I really wanted to film this video for you guys. Here is the finished look. I always feel so awkward getting up that close to the camera, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I think this look is very wearable. I do recommend a shade like Glass Bowl, but I don't know if I recommend Glass Bowl from ColourPop completely just because it's so powdery. But it is a really gorgeous shade. I think the eyes turned out really nicely. I love that pop of glitter. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys for being so patient with me, especially throughout this video and the lighting changes. I definitely like filming with my ring light better because I feel like it shows everything more true to color. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Talk to you later. Bye.